Well, the first generation, well, the pre-generation was a resistance bridge. And I was, this about 15 years ago, I was sitting on Sunday afternoon trying to figure out how to make a resistance bridge easier to use. And I said, you know, if we could make this thing read SWR. And that afternoon is when the SWR analyzer started. So this is like to, the 109, the MFJ 109? No, this was a 207. The third one was the 259, and then the present one is the 259B, and then the next generation is 269. Mm -hmm. Do you see in the, maybe in the, in the somewhat not too distant future, where you can have one that has an auto sweep? I mean, certainly the manual sweep is nice, but sometimes um, an auto sweep <coughs> would be nice. Well, <coughs> I don't want to say yes, because I want to keep selling 259s and 269s. Well, in the instruction manual, in several different places, it says to don't do that. <laughs> I don't remember what happened, but it something. Smoke. Oh, okay. Well, then let's don't do that. We'll fix it for you. I'm sure you could reprogram, rewire that bill so that wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah. What happens if you turn a power on and you let them test the question? Yeah, the question was um, what happens if you have the UHF button pushed in and you turn power on? causes problems. <laughs> yeah, we need to fix that. <laughs> Along the same line, how else can you accidentally kill one? <laughs> well, the, okay, but well, the, the, uh, how to kill a 269? Well, the most common one is people plug the coax into the wrong stuff. <laughs> that does it every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, operator error, I mean, you tape this thing, be careful with it. Two part question. Uh, are you on the air still, and what is your station like? Um, I am on the air, um, operate 40 meter CW, uh, operate 40 meter sideband from the car a lot. Well, not a lot, but pretty good bit. Uh, my car's got a mobile mount on it, homemade antenna. Um, I had one that had a five foot pole on it and it had six foot uh, top hat <laughs> driving down the road. <laughs> I have a 756 Pro 2, FT897, Allocraft K2, um, one of those little Allocraft um, thing with the key on it, KX1. Um, got a 718. Got a bunch of radios. Okay. <laughs> so, being in the business, did you want to fun for you? No, I, I like, I really enjoy playing with radio. Uh, question Is there a different level stopping and level on 259B? And the 269 <laughs> Uh, between the 259B and the 269, yeah, there are software differences. There's all the, so I guess with like the 259B, it's all the uh, line length and velocity and all that, and all versions of that? Well, you know, I can't remember if all of that is in the 259, but almost all of it is. Okay. Now, our manual is on the web, so you can just download it. Okay. Yeah, all of our manuals is on the web. Oh, <laughs>